While the normal reaction to weather like this is to take cover, Isaac and Glenn are doing the opposite. Pulling out a metal rig called a distrometer in the dirtiest part of a storm. Not only is there heavy wind, rain and balls of ice being hurled from the sky, this operation is being done at night, despite original plans. Whoa. It is getting really bad out there. We're feeling at least golf ball size hail on the windows, a really loud crack on all the windows, scaring everybody, at least in the car. Visibility right now is only 20 feet in front of us. It is almost zero. You start to realize when you look around, you can't see anything outside, why they don't want these cars deployed at night. Regardless of what it might seem like to a layman, this is still a practice run for the University of Illinois researchers. Vortex 2 didn't get the tornadic storms just to the north of them, meaning this particular storm wasn't as bad as it could have been. When you have a storm, you have large raindrops, small raindrops, everything in between, and then you have hailstones. Uh, we're measuring uh, all the different sizes of raindrops that you see. If it's not raining, we're not getting measurements. And so we have to deploy from basically where it's raining hardest to where it's raining the lightest, and our goal is to measure that gradient. Just don't get the distrometers mixed up with the similar looking pods. These aren't meant to be in the direct path of a tornado, but rather the storm around it. Trying to learn what kind of conditions it takes to get a twister. For the Weather Channel, I'm Katie Turr.